Hello again, everyone. This is Caroline with you with the first webcast of 2011. This is really exciting to come together uh, at this time. Uh, you all are coming from different parts of the globe. And in fact, it has a great significance. I will get to all of this in just a minute. But while um, we allow more people to join. I'm just going to start by uh, saying uh, officially Happy New Year to everyone and to the new folks who have never uh, been on this webcast. Uh, welcome. Uh, we are going to uh, do a couple of things today. First, I'm going to share with you um, my views or my feelings, my thoughts. Um, insights for uh, insights for 2011 and uh, some you know some things suggestions that i think may be helpful uh, to you and then we will um, move to a healing circle for those who have done the healing circle online live or through the uh, archives know how powerful these are so be ready another very powerful session is um, about to happen in just a little bit but again, while we allow more people to join, I just want to, um, you know, uh, tell everyone and remind everyone, for those who do not receive the newsletter by, uh, for whatever reason, I just wanted to inform you about uh, this new class, uh, Mastering the Human Mind. It's actually not new. It's the fifth year, I believe. But uh, this year, we've decided to offer it uh, through the website, um, we wanted to make it very accessible, very affordable, uh, and very practical for everyone to attend. In the past, these have been um, long uh, one-week modules, and you'd had to travel to attend uh, these classes. Um, there, uh, I believe that these are the most uh, transformative, uh, most profound classes there are. If you are truly, seriously interested in awakening, to who you really are, I truly, truly own, um, you know, your human presence here and understand uh, your divine blueprint, I highly recommend that you look into these classes uh, under the university page. Um, you know, you can go at your own pace. Uh, just look at the description for every class and see how you feel. Don't just read the words. There's so many words that I, we can explain about the expansion, about energy and this and that, but, you know, the human language is very limited. But um, I recommend that you simply feel what the energy um, is like behind those words, and I encourage you to try these classes if you uh, really want to develop, awaken uh, very, very fast uh, to who you really are in this lifetime, all right? So here's for Mastering the Human Mind. We also have a very powerful um, a session uh, on ascension coming up also that I highly recommend you attend again if you are uh, moving very very forward uh, in your awakening and uh, need to reconfigure certain uh, old pattern and you will understand why this is very very relevant at this time um, uh, to, to talk about and to work with the ascension uh, frequency. Um, I will explain this uh, again in just a minute when we talk about the earth changes and what's, uh, what's happening in 2011. And also for those who are new to the website and to this work, um, you know, please also join us on Facebook because uh, we sometimes post certain things that are not posted on the website and it's always helpful to meet other people there as well. So, okay, moving right along, I think uh, everyone who wants to join today is here. And also, this webcast will be available uh, free of charge for the next few days anyway on the website in case you've missed something or in case, for whatever reason, there are any technical uh, difficulties uh, on your end. Please do not worry. It is okay. You can uh, listen to this again on the website, okay? So... Uh, first, let's see what is happening in 2011. By the way, for those who are new, uh, this is not a psychic prediction. Uh, this is not how um, I work or I function. Uh, this is uh, more about uh, tuning into the energies that have accumulated enough momentum that seem to be... Um, 
most likely to to manifest uh, throughout this year. Uh, this does not mean uh, that they must necessarily happen because if they are man-made, they can still be shifted, but because they have been projected in the uh, collective consciousness for so long that they will probably manifest. And the idea uh, for all of this is not about uh, for you, you know, knowing how you're going to invest your money or anything like that, those sorts of details. It's more for you to understand the general trends, the energies that are manifesting on the earth so that you can receive the guidance that's relevant uh, to you individually. Now, don't forget, you still create your reality no matter what. Um, for example, this is like a weather forecast. If I say it's going to rain tomorrow, this is simply for you to possibly take an umbrella with you. However, even if you did forget and you intend to have a very comfortable day, you could still end up having a comfortable day even though it rained. You, do you understand? So so uh, please make sure that you are listening to all of this information, and you, but you are still going back to your own heart, your own guidance system and asking the question, okay, now with all of this information, how do I then create my reality uh, that is the most aligned for me? Okay. So keep that in mind. So uh, the first thing that I want to share with you is that um, what's very, very unique about this year um, it's, uh, is that it feels uh, that um, contrary to the previous years where things were happening and building up and shifting and moving around, uh, this year feels like it's, it's things are finally finally uh, becoming finalized. It's kind of like it's the last chapters of a book of a story, okay? Um, and so that's why it feels like we are coming to the end of a cycle. And this has nothing to do with the, with the Mayan thing at all. This has to do with the grid system. And uh, if you go back to the books and the, uh, the classes that, you know, we've been talking about the grid system on the earth being what creates reality. Okay, so uh, we have been working on implementing, on creating, and um, uh, putting in place a new grid system that allows a new reality to be born on the earth. Without getting into the technical details here, uh, for the those who are new to this can go back to the classes online, but. Um, uh, it's just for you to understand that this grid system has been uh, put together and now is in place or almost in place. In other words, at this point, it has uh, accumulated enough momentum that it's simply impossible to undo this new grid system. It is about 87% complete, which means that in just another couple of months, it will simply be there and it's here to stay and so uh, this means that the new reality and and and, and no matter what who does what, what forces, what uh, entities, what energies um, do whatever they want, um, uh, this cannot be undone. And so uh, this is, of course, a very, very good news because this means that the new frequencies, the higher vibration, the new consciousness, the new reality is going to be born uh, on this planet. At the same time, we have also said in previous webcasts that the old uh, grid is also still here. It has not dissolved yet. So, so uh, now more than ever, this uh, previous uh, or the old grid grid system, which is the old paradigm, is uh, going to collapse uh, because the new grid is uh, has created such a strong momentum at this time and is simply here to stay, cannot be undone, then the old paradigm must crumble. And so this is exactly where we are. Uh, so in terms of how this affects you or how does that kind of feel, um, some people may be feeling that they're kind of done. It's kind of like they feel a sense of completion, um, like as if they're in limbo, not quite sure what they're supposed to do next. And that's precisely that. It's because you have been, of course, uh, those who are aware know exactly what I'm talking about. And some of you, for some of you, it's it's more of, an, of a deeper unconscious feeling uh, that you are kind of 
finished. You have done the work that you're supposed to do and uh, you are kind of simply waiting around right now. And that's very, very uh, normal because because your brain, your physical brain, is connected to the earth grid, uh, the fact that the new grid system is in place and done, it's almost like there's nothing else you can do. It is, you've done the work of implanting all the new frequencies, all the new information, and now you're just going to have to wait for that reality to be born. So at the same time, it's very exciting. It means that it's a success story, uh, but uh, in a 3D way, it kind of feels kind of strange. You feel like you're sitting between two chairs. You're kind of wondering, okay, now what? Uh, it could be an uncomfortable place. And that's why I'm bringing this to your attention uh, so that you know where this could be coming from. Um, uh, from this this kind of sense of completion of something much bigger than you that you have been participating in. So um, so I will uh, tell you in just a minute a couple of practical things that you can do so that you can shift to a, a place that feels a little bit better if you are one of those people who feels a little bit in limbo. Um, and uh, But before that, I wanted to also say that the way this uh, new energy is going to what I mean it's going to translate into more uh, powerful uh, shifts on the earth because now more than ever the old paradigm uh, must continue to crumble we're going to see more and more uh, of course uh, social unrest and um, political problems uh, uh, government collapsing I mean last year was was uh, <laughs> one after another and we're going to continue to see that there are more um, uh, even in the news yesterday today uh, around the globe um, the old paradigm, the old systems are are going to continue to collapse. Um, and the same with the whole financial story. Of course, I'm really, really amazed uh, that they kept it going for so long. It's one plan after another, one game after another. But it is impossible for uh, this system to continue to work, um, especially when we have this new energies in place now and they are here to stay. And so... Uh, I guarantee that uh, with you know the the financial crisis uh, will come back in a really really uh, spectacular way this time uh, much more um much stronger than the last time it happened a couple of years ago. Um, so be prepared for that. But, you know, all of this is man-made. Don't forget, it's manipulation. And it's all orchestrated because there is one plan after another. That's how you keep a reality together. So, um, so that's why you... Honestly, even all of these things are happening. Uh, the best way to for you to deal with all of this is to simply be the observer as much as you can. That's in, in a weird way. If you are feeling kind of in limbo, not quite knowing what to do, in a, in a strange way, it may be a good thing so that you're not so engaged in the old paradigm anymore. Uh, you, you should feel quite unplugged, um, which, by the way, gives you the sense of being in limbo. Uh, from uh, the the reality, from the uh, the old paradigm, uh, because it's going to continue to to go down.